Hey, it is Andy with The Fence Post Indie Music and Vinyl Blog, and today I have here a copy of Bell and Sebastian's 7-inch single for 3, 6, 9 seconds of light. This 7-inch includes two songs. One is A Century of Fakers, and the second is Le Pazzi de la Bourgeoisie. I've always had trouble pronouncing that, so if I butchered it, I apologize. There are a few different versions of this out. Originally released in 1997 on Jeepster Recordings, you saw it pressed to 7-inch on vinyl, as well as a 12-inch single. There are also versions on CD. Other versions may have additional tracks, but this 7-inch just has those two. All pressings were on Jeepster Recordings, with exception of one CDEP on Trauma in Brazil, and also a CDEP on Matador in the US. This 7-inch is your pretty standard Bell and Sebastian single. You have the front cover, which is carried through all different variants of the single, and the back, which is essentially, once again, kind of black and white with this silver printing up there. Bell and Sebastian has always kind of had this photography component to its singles, its albums, all of that kind of stuff, and that is something that was highlighted on its 2023 LP, The Late Developers. I'll have a link in the description to that video as well of me unboxing my copy and sharing some thoughts on it. But here you have a camera, and once again on the front, which is kind of this duotone photograph, as you'll see on many of their releases, with the color being white and silver. The 7 inch itself, as I noted, features two tracks. Here you have the track listing, and on the other side, looks like a light meter for photography. Both tracks on this single are well, pretty quintessential early Bell and Sebastian. Like many of the early singles, these two actually do not find their way onto a full LP by the band. Instead, to get the tracks, you had to purchase one of the singles, be it the CD EP, the 7-inch here, or the 12-inch maxi single. Ultimately, it was released on Push Barman to Open Old Wounds, a compilation which was pressed to a few different CDs, I believe, as well as a 3LP vinyl pressing. I may cover that in the future. Do you have a favorite early Bell and Sebastian single? Let me know what your favorite is in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.